This is an old school Compton shit. This is an old school Compton shit. This is an old school Compton shit. Don't be mad at my accomplishments. Give me the mic, I demolish it. I'm so great, I knowledge it. You can't spit, so swallow it. Don't be mad, follow it. Lyrics just like hollow tips. Can't uh, be uh, like we were saying, you were saying. <laughs> I was listening to a uh, 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 roast, some of that old school roast, and he was like, uh, <laughs> "Rape the game like Puffy did total." I was like, "Oh, don't rub the salt in the wounds, Ross." Oh, I was like, "Oh, don't do that, Ross." Ross. I think it was getting, you that know shit just popped out of nowhere saying? in my brain too. The fucking some of that 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 uh that funk robotic, whatever bullshit Craig Mac was always talking about, right? And I was yeah. like, damn. Then I thought about that fucking uh, the documentary where he's sitting there washing dishes in his busted ass old school kitchen. And he was like, yeah, I went from, you know, spitting rhymes and whatever and washing, you know, these floors or whatever to, you know, nigga giving me a thousand dollars. And then I was like, this is crazy. But, you know, that's all I got. I'm like, a thousand dollars, nigga? Like, damn. that's all you got? Out of all that shit? Like, oh, Diddy was. Is I can't even say was, but definitely, man, just fucking niggas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is a yeah. I mean the industry. You know what I'm saying? The industry. It's it's ugly, man. <laughs> like that. You feel me? Cause cause even you know like like with the title of the the name of uh welcome everybody to the uh, latest episode of uh that t-i-s-s you know we be talking that ish uh talking that ish and as they say in the bay you know you talking that shit swallowing spit you know what i'm saying you know what i mean popping that game at that greasy at the jeezy at the beezies you know what i'm saying give them that giggler yada all right so anyway Gavin. most deaf and um so you know everybody got their own little lingos and ways to go about things but i do got to give a salute to uh to the waviest um salute to max b and uh you know what i mean that is the wave all right you out of here have a great have a great uh appointment and everything lock that door too on your way out close it all the way there you go so um so yeah the wave man this is all right you gotta come back and get this stuff oh it's right there on the ground but oh when you come back okay Oh shit! Well, I'm I'm kind of in the middle. Of, all right, just a minute. So yeah, but uh, so back to that. My me and my man's co-host Nasty Nate. You know what I'm saying? Holla! What's up, Nasty? How you living, bro? What's good? Oh, niggas! I'm over here tripping about the wave, and for whatever reason, what? I'm just, you know, I'm thinking about the. All right. How when you was telling me that niggas be fishing in the wrong waters. Man, yeah. Waters fine, but it's it's on the same topic. That wave, you know. You that is. The wave, on the wave, shit is popping. But when you find yourself on a uh, a still, huh, a still mm. body of water, mm. shit ain't popping. It ain't wavy. Things ain't that, biting. That is a perfect analogy, man. That is a perfect analogy, cause. You know, that takes me back to my days when I used to try to charge. You know what I'm saying? It used to be me and uh, the homie Jake. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Jake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot what that line is. I forgot what that line is, but it's a line. But, uh, yeah, so if I get, um, man, I'm getting into this weekend league right now, too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this dude got a, he got a squad. He bringing Ronaldo. Oh, he about to try to do me. So, anyway, um, yeah, I used to, used to go, uh, like, uh, surfing and shit down San Barbara when I was in college and everything. It was the waviest shit I did. I'm going to say this. Waviest thing I did in Santa Barbara, and we did some pretty wavy stuff. Actually, I, I you know, if I, I got to tell the waviest thing. The waviest thing we did down there was we had the porn party. Salute to Shane's World uh, for throwing that party, you know what I'm saying? That was the function. We were one of the early iterations of the College Invasion series. 
Uh, so they threw a big old party at our house. It uh, wasn't big because it was lightweight, low, like not too many people. But they bought a ton of alcohol, brought some stars or some actors. I can't really call them stars. Well, mm, you know, I don't know if I want to say stars, but definitely some, some, some known actors. And uh, performed. And did they perform? Did they ever perform? So that was the waviest. And that, that's an ill story, and, you know, probably get into that later on down the line. But uh, the second waviest thing was, uh, me and the homie, I ain't going to say no names, uh, me and the, the ex-homie, we, we fucking went surfing, snowboarding, and um, skateboarding all in the same day. We started out the morning skateboarding at about, like, 7 in the morning. And we skated from about 7 to 9.30. Then we were like, oh, man, you know, it's a nice day. The day's getting nicer. Let's go surfing. So we went surfing. And we surfed till, like, midday. So about, like, 11.30 to about 2.30. And then the homie was like, we looked up on the mountain. And, you know, California is one of them places where you be on the beach and you look at the mountains and there's snow on the mountains. So the homie was like, hey, you got your snowboard here. In the dorm, I my snowboard's at the house, but we could pick it up on the way. Let's go snowboarding. I said, "Wow, well, we could do that." He said, "Yeah, Mountain High's got night boarding, so we could snowboard at night, and we could stop by my crib on the way to Mountain High, on the way to getting there, and pick up my snowboard and shit and everything. And uh, you know, we just blaze and blaze and blaze, and that's what we did. And we blazed and we went and night boarded at Mountain High." So we did all three in one day, and that was the waviest thing I ever did. Mm. How about you, Nate? What's, what's the waviest thing you, you can recall? You know what I mean? Like, I would say that's the waviest thing I did in Santa Barbara, but, um, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's definitely been a lot of wavy ass shit in my in the in, in the past. I'm like I'm trying to figure out like which because I don't snowboard. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I don't like anything around snow or surfing or you know what I'm saying? Like because that's the same kind of shit to me. I'm like oh you went surfing. I'm like, yeah, okay, so you yeah. Like, you like you were like you know what? Me and my homeboy were having this like super chill ass day at the top of the food chain, right? And we were yeah. like, hey, you know what? I wonder what it's like to drop in the motherfucking food chain. Why don't we go hang around around some creatures that want to eat our motherfucking asses? And you was like, yeah, that sounds like a perfect plan. I'm mm -hmm. not one of those guys, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, 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 I always used to have a slight death wish to a degree, <laughs> I'll say. Um, and I just mean that. That just means I was a bit adventurous because... I always believed that you never, ever met a grandfather named Justin. So odds were that I probably wouldn't live very long. And um, I just used to try to do everything I could, you know, like pack my life full of all the experiences I could so that, uh, you know, when it eventually ended earlier than, than most people, um, it would be full with, with a lot of the good experiences. Which has led me to some of the issues and problems that I deal with today because as you can see I did not die early or sooner than I <laughs> than I expected <laughs> I actually lived <laughs> even though there's been many more near death experiences uh, I actually lived so in this day and age now I'm, I'm definitely more reserved and, and trying to make better decisions yes so I, you won't catch me surfing again uh, I tried it I, or not I tried it, but we went one time, I got pounded at Halama Beach, and I haven't been back. It was like 10 foot overhead, I haven't been back since, I got pounded heavy. I did you. not know how I made it when I got back, when I got thrown on the, onto the beach, I could not understand how I was still alive, and I was just like, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What uh, my roommate, what my roommate, salute to Racy. What Racy said was, you know, you experience what it is, because you know I was questioning whether to go out or not. But he said, you know, you just experience what it is. Now either you're gonna go hard, go harder, and get better, or you're not gonna do it again. And I was just like, eh. it's adventure enough being a black man in America. 
Every time I step out the front door, it's an adventure. I don't need to go look for it. I'm not going to go ahead and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and not do that again. So I'll stick to the snowboarding. And that's pretty much what I've done. And I actually stopped skateboarding, too. Like, I still have my skateboard, but I'm too old. And I know that it's not if you're going to fall. It's just when. And I just don't want to deal with. Um, although, I, you know, I have a good record of of uh not breaking any bones or anything i still don't want to i don't want to break that or i don't want to risk it uh skateboarding i feel like it's gonna hurt and it will because every time i did fall on my skateboard it hurt so i'm old now i'm not young and so it's just like nah um but uh skate snowboarding i'm all in all in i'm trying to go this year if i can you know i mean if i can get up there somehow Break my shit out again, you know what I mean? And get busy. It's been a long time. <laughs> Break my shit. Nigga, every time I have any of those kind of, I mean almost every time. Every time I try to fuck around with that, let's call it white boy, right? White, white boy in nature. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man. Yes, sir. You, nature is like, nigga, if you don't take your black ass back where you know you're supposed to be, I mean, they send out <laughs> like fucking wolves, or they send out the waves, whatever it is, you know, I was yeah. trying that shit out in fucking uh, Cancun, fucking with the waves, I'm like, I'm not gonna surf, but I'll try this other white boy shit with it, like, running up the waves, and the ocean, <laughs> bit, my bit my body in half. And drug me on my face upside down on the ocean. <laughs> no blacks allowed. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I, I just had to throw yeah. that in. <laughs> oh, nigga. When I slid my ass out of the ocean, you know what I'm saying? Like, it had to have looked funny as fuck, me just bent all up. Like, what the fuck happened to you? And, uh, you know, a nigga was, you know. I think it's kind of flexible, so it didn't hurt in that way. It was just hurt my pride and hurt everything else. And when I stood up, my, my fucking trunks were damn near gone. And that cold ass water, it's like, oh, I'm not looking cool at all in any fashion. <laughs> oh, shit. Little, little bits, huh? <laughs> little bits. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, damn, I just gave up a bad goal right now. <laughs> Shit, loving this so hard. But uh, yeah, I was gonna give it up anyway. They, you know, the game plays that way. Oh my gosh, look at that. I just got, oh, I just got mugged. <laughs> this guy's thugging out here. <laughs> you know, it's not like we're playing soccer. <laughs> I know we're playing hockey. <laughs> Jesus. Everybody <laughs> fucking robbed me at knife point. He pulled, he pulled the blade out of his sock. It was like, you sure you want to kick that ball, my dude? You sure that's what you want to do? Oh. <laughs> for real, for real. And so, um... <laughs> Um, but yeah, I know, I, I feel you on that, because I used to tell Scotty all the time, man, salute to Scotty, you know, that's my guy. Um, I used to tell Scotty all the time, because, you know, he hikes and shit. So, you know, he, he, he hikes, big time. And he'd always be like, yo, J5, you want to go on this hike and shit? No. <laughs> he'd be like, what? <laughs> I'd be like, nah. Or he'd be like, you want to go on this hike, go camping? I'd be like, no. He'd be like, really? Why not, bro? It could be fun. It'll be fun. I'm like, uh, nah. And you know that's when I got told him. It's adventure enough being a black man in America. I don't need to go looking for it. It finds me. Everywhere you go. Yeah, it finds me. find different levels of adventure. Exactly. I'm not trying to go on, man. Oh, I'm not trying to go on the majority of the adventures that seem to find me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I could take a pass on a lot of them Joneses. Um, or at least the recent ones before, they were pretty awesome. You know, it was Adventure Time. I was feeling right. like Finn, Jake the Dog and shit. But, uh, so, um, I, I used to just tell them, nah, man, this is Adventure not being a black man uh, in America. But um, I went hiking with him one time, or not, like, I went on a hike. I didn't go hiking, because hiking <clears throat> is a massively multiple-day uh, experience. And what I used to always tell him when he invited me on that shit, I'd be like, yo, I work way too hard, and I work way too many hours, because, you know, I'm working three, four jobs at this time. 
I'm like, I work way too many hours to go out and pretend like I'm homeless for the weekend. I'm about to sit here and enjoy all this cable, enjoy all this roof, enjoy all these showers, all this hot water, all this. All is getting all enjoyed. Shit, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm Every bit of this is getting enjoyed because I'm working my ass off. <laughs> so the last thing I'm about to go do is pretend like I ain't got it. <laughs> pass. Strong pass. So I used to be at the crib, nigga, functioning. <laughs> Motherfuckers be camping and shit. I'll be functioning. You feel me? Like, all right, everybody's gone for the weekend. Time for me to function. I used to always answer them kind of questions with, you know what, I would like to go, but I want to ask you this question. How many stories have you heard about black people being eaten up for, you know, some crazy shit while camping or surfing or doing, you know, base jumping or, you know, some skydiving weird shit? He's like, you know what, not that many. I'm like, yeah, because we don't do that dumb shit. <laughs> yeah, we take, a, uh, we take a strong pass on that. Oh, that was terrible, man. Damn, Insigne would have would have scored the game winner right there, possibly. Um, yeah, man. So yeah, like that's that's where I was always at. Like, nah, bruh. I'm I'm uh uh-uh. uh. You're not you're not getting me out there. Doing the uh, you speaking about hiking? All these cats that you know, this is Nevada. So all these motherfuckers that want to go walking around in the mountains and in the desert and like. <laughs> Uh, I don't like going to graveyards. I don't, I don't, I stay away from graveyards and all their senses. Same here. They've always creeped me out. You know. Ever since so Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> yeah. But even more than that, I've always, you know, had this strong aversion. And more than that, just this insight that I'm not supposed to go be around that shit. It's far too many spirits, far too much shit going on. I don't want to play that water. Yeah, I, I feel you on that. I, and, and so that's where I'm at, too. I'm not that adventurous. I do not deal in the macabre. You sound hella lame. Be like, I sound very cautious, my dude. I sound like the guy that'll probably be speaking at one of you guys' wake. That's what I sound like. And I'll make sure to say something very nice. <laughs> Let him know you're great. You know, you were great. But uh, I'll go ahead and take, you know, it's a, it's a strong, strong pass on that. Strong pass on that. <laughs> I won't say that shit don't be looking, you know, some of it looks fun. Like the people are walking around the rainforest, you know, playing around with their lives. But, uh, I don't know. Like, that's the, that's the wave in the game really trying to jump on, you know what I'm saying? But if I was from that area... Oh, I'll be the guy. Be like, dude, hey, I'll be the, I'll be the tour guy. Let's do all this crazy-ass shit. Yeah, I feel what you're saying, you know what I mean? Yeah, like the ruins, these ancient ruins where all these people died at. Yeah, let's. Why not go there? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the curse says a lot. Says says for eternity, but I mean, it's uh, it's only been you know what I mean, many 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 eons or or generations. It's only been like four hundred years. Come on, <laughs> for real. We can go. Let's take a bunch of people with us and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a bunch of people with us. Did I lose? <laughs> I did. Oh, I didn't know the guy scored twice. Oh, man, I thought we were tied. Oh, guess the joke's on me. When did he score again? I swear, I don't remember giving up two goals. But anyway, whatever, I guess I did. I, you know, it's, it's recorded, so it had to have happened. That sucks. But, uh, yeah, oh, man. Shit. Another thing on the wave, I'm like, nobody really speaks about it except for Wiz. I mean, like, nobody. Mm-hmm. Speaks about what? The wave? Yeah. Oh, no, a lot of people do. Um, I got to say salute to Sue Surf, because he is the wave. And he, even though, you know what I mean, even though K-Shine came at him and said, So Tsunami Surf, nigga, ain't nothing wavy about you. Oh, that <laughs> shit was hard. <laughs> but yeah, you know, he's the wave, you know what I'm saying? You know, he, he's, he's, he's branded it. He's branded it. But like I said, the original uh, Max B, 
that's the waviest, you know. And then I remember me and Scotty used to always refer to it. Because, you know, the wave is not just good. You know what I mean? Like, when it gets wavy, it could be bad. You know what I mean? And I definitely remember when shit got wavy in Santa Barbara with us, man. We used to always be bumping Max B and be like, damn, it's wavy. You know what I'm saying? And then when it was good times, we'd be bumping Max B talk about it was wavy. But, um, you know, there's different ways to refer to it. It's different level to the wave. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, Lukaku! Lukaku. He bullied that in there. You know what I'm saying? Real. For real, for real. Oh, you thought you was styling out, huh? Oh, nigga, you thought you was wavy. Let me show you what the wave is. Feel that? Feel the bones? Feel your bones right there? Yeah. Exactly. And then it comes crashing down on you. It comes crashing down on you. You know what I mean? And I and, and like I said, part of the wave, them DUIs. You know what I mean? Because think about it this way. Both situations that I got my DUIs in, shit was wavy. And wavy in a good way. And then the wave just crashed down on me. It closed out on me and crashed. And oh, I crashed hard and drowned. You know what I mean? I do. I too. Yeah. Been to that party. And it's cold because the cops is the ones who walk up on you and you just still, you chilling. You don't realize, you know, how fucked you are yet. I mean, <laughs> For real. Like, Yo, well, it. <laughs> truth be told. Over. Truth be told, I knew how fucked I was when mine came down. Like, you know, we had, I just got into the accident, but I figured, I was like, all right, look, I might get lucky because I did the responsible thing. I didn't hit him and run. I stayed here. They're here vouching for me, saying we exchanged insurance. Everything's cool, cops. Keep it moving. And the cop was like, no, we got to investigate. No, cool, exactly. No, it ain't cool, Connolly. We didn't put on all this gear <laughs> so you and your buddies could come and <laughs> drink a bowl of beer and talk to our ladies. <laughs> That's what that was, because, yeah, we both tried to keep the cops from even, you know what I mean, fucking with us. And it was like, nope. And, like, I made them pull over. They weren't going to pull over, but I was like, the last thing I want is... Because, you know, there ain't too many niggas riding a drop top in town here. And so I don't want to get pulled over later on down the line. You know what I mean? Talking about some hit and run shit. Yeah. So I was like, no, nah, y'all pull over and let's get this insurance shit right. And I was fade. I wasn't too, too faded. You know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, I, it, I yeah, they, that and that and some other party favors were, were uh, consumed that evening. So. You know, I was, say, I was definitely too faded to be behind the wheel. I was more in point zero eight faded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was, but and kids, no matter what anyone says to you, there is not a drug that makes you feel straighter or takes the alcohol experience away to keep you from getting that DUI. So, do not listen if someone tells you that. It's right. not true. Buzz drinking is drunk. No, wait, buzz, yeah. buzz driving is drunk driving. Absolutely. And don't put yourself into that pool. Stay out of that pool. Yeah, that, that ocean is ugly. That's an ugly ocean. My DUI has costed me about 10 grand. Oh, my God. How did he not get to that? It's costing me about 10 grand, man. More than that, actually, like 20, 20, 25 or something like that. I you know, lost my car. Either one of them. All kind of shit. That. What the well, fuck? The long run. That's yeah, your fault, Handanovich. How the fuck didn't you pick that up? This is ridiculous right here. My goalkeeper dives for the ball and doesn't pick it up. Oh, my uh, well, here's another loss. So to all the people that say I don't show any of my losses, which not very many people say that because not very many people view it. <laughs> but for when people do say it, you'll be seeing these losses right here. 
You know what I mean? The way they be beating your ass, how are you now? They not seeing the losses. Because <laughs> I'm not always streaming when I'm getting when I'm taking the beat downs. <laughs> Typically, I play up for the stream. You know what I mean? My game, I play up in my game, but uh, right now that just does not seem to be the case. Um, yeah, yeah. So absolutely, man. I'm and and I'm hoping that uh, I get to get out to Vegas. I'm hoping that all works out, and I'm hoping that it gets real wavy uh, in a great way when I get there. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. <clears throat> like that negative wave. No, we don't need that. Thing oh man. That I was tripping about. That was popping in my head. I'm like, all right. Bing says history always repeats itself. Isaac. And you could say, in a way, that we're in, like, a whack-ass version of, like, the 90s. Yeah. And I only realized that because I just started looking around at niggas' hairdos, looking around at how niggas are bringing back the weird-ass, you know, whack-ass fashions, like, dance way up to your goddamn belly button and shit. I'm like, hey, wait a minute. (laughs) 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'm like, okay. So that means all the other shit comes with it, like X-rated and niggas being like, fellas, is hella jealous, it's that town. Because have you not noticed that niggas are definitely like on some super jealous, petty, ugh, ass shit? Like, well, you know, I have to look at it like the niggas is acting more, I mean, the bras is acting more gully than the dudes are. Yeah, it, 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 it does seem to be a, a reversal of roles taking place. Taking place. And, and what that could be is, as people have said, and, you know, it's been stated numerous times uh, to uh, nausea, um, that's the lack of, of, of males in the home. You know what I mean? But that's not even that because it, it's it's not. But then again, it is that because uh, truth be told, um, the influence is heavy. I would say the influence is heavy uh, from um, from the African American community, and uh, me being African American, I can definitely speak on that. So <laughs> the influence on the world is very heavy. So the way that our uh, young sisters behave, that that is the way that women of other races begin to behave as well, because that is the end. That's in in style. So that's probably why um, you are feeling like it is getting a little bit more. Women are are becoming a, a bit more bold, and um, not as nice. That's the best way you know to put it, without sounding really really. You know. Oh my goodness, man! I just, just, I swear, if these fucking passes would land, dude, I'd be winning a goddamn game. I, and that's where I say the game is totally messing me up, cause like, if I'm passing straight to my guy, he shouldn't be running around the ball. The ball shouldn't be floating around him. It should be going to him. Well, what the fudge, man? Yeah, this is a loss. Uh, so anyway. And people, you are witnessing DDA in action right now. As you can see how my passing has been terrible and his passing has been prime and precise. Oh, yeah, and them bright-ass colors. The bright-ass fluorescent colors. And they get, oh, remember that shit? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's, that's like, yeah, that's late 80s, early 90s. Cross colors, late 80s, early 90s. So that's 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 the um, the influence that you're speaking on is the late right. '80s, early '90s influence. Well, not quite it is a trip us. watching this shit happen again, but like with the newer, you know, but, like we're gonna recreate the wheel thing, but we've already recreated the wheel a bunch of times. Well, you know, we're gonna do it again, and we're doing it better. It's totally different. Well, no, gonna love it. <laughs> well, like, uh, um, <laughs> why did he run around the backup anyway? Um, so what I was going to say was that's the same thing that uh, our parents experienced when people from our generation start, you know, hippieing out. You know what I mean? And wearing bell bottoms and stuff. You remember girls used to be rocking them bell bottoms. I do. Heavy. heavy. So, Super heavy. man, I mean, this guy is just making everything, dude. This game's fucking over. I ain't even got a goalkeeper. What the fuck is this? Go- Excuse my language. What is this goalkeeper doing? 
<coughs> My God! It's like there ain't even nobody back there. I won't even say that's the funniest one. You gotta be kidding the funniest me. one. Is when niggas like. And then not even just that. It's just like shit. My whole fucking team. Remember the rockabilly shit? No. I don't. Oh, dude. So. Remember the fucking the outsiders? Isaac. <laughs> and more than that, the fucking uh, cause the rockabillies is more like like Elvis times, right? Yeah. But like you know how niggas was dressing back then. And people were bringing that back. And it was the funniest shit ever, but I don't see it as much happening right now. I'm sure it still does in places. But it was it was a big deal in the Bay Area. I kept I couldn't stop running across Rocket to the ass cat. Mm, I don't recall it. <clears throat> but I, I, I believe you. Yeah, I don't recall it. That? With all the white girls you fuck with. You know, they might have been rocking it, I just didn't notice. <laughs> like it's so like what time do you live in that's not that's not this 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 is clearly clearly mm. 56 years ago yeah like i said i i just you know i did i just didn't give it any pay it any mind i suppose <clears throat> huh learn something new every day finally so finally lukaku uh, so, uh, yeah, man, shoot. But, man, I was trying to think of some wavy lines and stuff, but I, I, I ain't even got it, you know? But I think what I'm going to do is uh, put together my list of uh, wavy wavy artists. You know what I mean? And just, uh, yeah. like, probably put it up on, um, like, <clears throat> like Twitter or, or Instagram or something. Like, yo, wavy artists. Check them out. If you haven't already. Oh my gosh, Lukaku. Because whatever this kind of list is, I think a DJ Jazzy Jinnaf. Who? That's a way Oh yeah, Jazzy. of course Jazzy Jeff's going to be on there. I mean, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I, I, that was only the one of the greatest shows that I had ever been to. It was so great, I didn't even realize like the time where the time went. Like it, it started in the day, in the middle of the day. Next thing I know, it was the dead of the morning, and then it was over, and it was like, wow, it's over already. You know, it didn't even feel like we had been there for like 10 hours, you know? Oh, yeah, that's how Jazzy does so, it. Yeah, it was, it was live. It was real live, man. That nigga Jazz, I swear to God, I'd be at the house having the, because he got a little, you know, the magnificent lunch breaks or the magnificent house parties or pool parties trying to get niggas to you know, stay your black ass, or not your black ass, but stay your ass in the house because there's all the shit going on and i swear man that that time goes by so fast mm -hmm. good music does that you know good music does that so yeah I'm, I'm gonna post that on my twitter that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put up my 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 my, my list of wavy artists yeah like like what I you know when I want to get wavy who I'm gonna oh I'm gonna throw on there you know like I don't want to say any names right now because that'll ruin the post we already know who's gonna be on there though I already spoke of the waviest one so you already know Max B's on there but you know we gonna go in depth and it's not just gonna be rap it's gonna be some how soulful house you know what I'm saying I'm gonna put some soulful house on there um, some R and B you know you know what I'm saying. Like that, uh, 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 that Isley Brothers, you know what I'm saying? Aquarius. Nigga said, I'm going some, gotta bring some foreign Oh, shit. man, I missed it, damn. Like, uh, what the fuck was the name of that song? Um, I can't remember, but it was that, the Nubian. Oh, Le Nubia. Yeah, um, um, Sadava. Yeah. Wow, that guy came out of nowhere to block that shot. This looks promising. Oh man, come on, a talk. <laughs> How did he not turn yeah, all the way around, that's man? Right that's bogus. That was so bogus. He did not even. Mm. Yeah, the game been over. The way they played, man, it's just ridiculous. But uh, yeah, man. So 
So I guess that's 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 just about it, Nate. Uh, you know, come to, or sorry, man, nasty. You know, come to the end here. Uh, we got about a you know good 45 to 50 minutes on this. You know what I mean? And you know the uh, rendering takes so long to get done, but uh, you know we gonna try to keep it uh, keep it gully. And now they want to let me start scoring. Okay, yeah, when the game's already over. Thanks a lot. <laughs> they said you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, you know, real cool, real cool. Now you're showing me what my guys should have been doing the uh, whole they, game. They gave you the rock. They gave you the rock. You're welcome. So James like, oh, you want to talk shit? Here. Fine. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh my gosh! And then my guy just ran behind the dude and slowed up. Like, come on, man. This don't even make any sense. He was already ahead of him. I passed. I'm not bothering. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game over. You're welcome. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. Damn, 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 James. Damn, 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 James. That's the shit right there. That was a wavy ass time in life. You know what I'm damn, saying? Damn, 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 James. Keep it going. Keep it going. Damn, 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 oh. James. Ba da ba ba ba. Ba da ba ba ba. Ba da ba 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 ba. Ba da ba 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 ba. Ba da 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 Oh, niggas clean, <laughs> cleanest thing you ever seen. <laughs> but yeah, that's it, guys. All right, everybody, have a great weekend. <laughs> oh, is that talking shit? Who else want to fuck with Hollywood Co? Exactly. <laughs> that's it. That, that's that. T I S S episode four. Keep it wavy, everybody, and um, have a wavy summer. And uh, wish us luck and uh, hope that uh, I can get out to Vegas and me and Nate can, um, you know, really, really refine this here project and uh, platform that we got going on and make it wave here. So uh, anybody that hears this, if you got got uh, any suggestions or anything, holla at us, get at us. Uh, All support is greatly appreciated. And y'all have a blessed weekend. Salute. Love, peace, and soul. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fresh. I burn a notch with the whip on smob and baby head on box. She caught the balls like lock. Her face covered the shit. Like, like, her face covered.